Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. As the Honourable Leader of Opposition would know that uh, we make budgetary allocations through the budget that's laid out before Parliament. And the practice that we've obviously had is that uh, we make the budgetary allocations to the Sports Commission. And the Sports Commission, of course, prior to that, accepts uh, any applications by respective sporting organisations. And then those uh, monies are disbursed through the Sports Commission to the respective sporting organisations. Uh, the Honourable Leader of Opposition is absolutely correct uh, that uh, rugby is uh, not just the largest following in respect of uh, people who play rugby, but also in respect of the fans. And of course, rugby is a very unifying force in Fiji, uh, whether Fijians live in Fiji or Fiji's offshore, as can be seen in uh, Vancouver or LA or uh, sorry, Las Vegas, wherever they play. So adequate funding, of course, has been provided over a number of years, Madam Speaker, uh, to the Fiji Rugby Union whenever the need has arisen, including, for example, our successful bid for the Olympics where we won the gold medal. And of course, uh, the Fiji Rugby Union had the support from the Fijian government, uh, not just in respect of, Madam Speaker, the actual direct budgetary funding, but also in respect of ensuring that we have, and many people may, not, may actually forget this, that we have, over the past number of years, uh, zero rated duty on many of the sporting goods in, in Fiji, for example. So things like protein shakes and sporting capsules and what have you, sports equipment, uh, boots uh, designed for rugby, soccer, boxing, etc., spike boots, shoes, etc., protective gear uh, for rugby, and knee and ankle supports, all of these things, better speaker, has been zero rated duty, uh, only that is applicable. So it's a, it's a combination of uh, ways that we are able to assist, and of course, if Fiji is successful in its bid, of course we will support it because it's not, it's not just for the fact that we want to only support rugby, but it's also because of enormous uh, uh, positive dollar implications for us because it again positions us as a sporting destination uh, which we have been building up through other, uh, other means too. Thank you very much.